Tony, what happened to Grandma? Well, Timmy, she died so that the S&P 500 wouldn't fall below its 90-day moving average. There is apparently money to be found when, when the financial markets are going bad. Yeah, it's funny how when, um, when white folks are suffering, we find a way to deliver and cut checks um, for, for people. We're going to have an opportunity, I believe, in the next round here to use the, my uh, green economy, my, my green deal, or uh, to be able to generate both economic growth and consistent with the kind of infusion of monies we need into the system to keep it going. There is a political danger of overreaching here, and I think that's what you're seeing play out on the Senate floor where Democrats are being criticized for things like including cancellation of student debt, which you could argue is not a part of the coronavirus crisis. I, I, don't I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. What, what is Nobody, your opinion on that? But if you could talk more deeply about the connection between climate change um, and the growth of these viruses. We, the people, we hold these truths etc. Sounds corny, but it's real. This pandemic, the global migration crisis, uh, uh, so many other things are actually all uh, effects, uh, you know, of this great acceleration that we've been seeing uh, for the last 30 years, you know, since starting in about 1990. We have to take care of the cure. That will make the problem worse no matter what. Let us not forget that COVID-19 is a gendered crisis. Nurses, nurse aides, teachers, child carers, and early childhood educators, aged care workers, and cleaners are mostly women. Who have folks in Rikers who are also starting uh, to organize their own strikes and that they are not leaving their facilities. They are not going to their, um, to their labor assignments, which we shouldn't even have mandatory labor assignments where prisoners are, are paid slave wages. But here's the thing. It's not a question of uh, if the economic shutdown is absolutely brutal for Americans, for our fellow citizens, for our economy. Of course it is. It's just that those on the right in the business world talking to Donald Trump are just misreading what the choices are right now. There is no option to just let everyone go back out and go back to normal if a pandemic rages across the country and infects 50% of the population and kills a percentage point at the low end of those infected and also melts down all the hospitals. I don't know, it's like watching a yo-yo. I shouldn't have said it that way. It's like watching- It feels that way. I wanna ask, I wanna- <laughs> It's okay. Have you been uh, tested for the coronavirus? No, I, I have not been tested for the coronavirus. Uh, I've had, thank God, no symptoms that I'm aware of. Doesn't mean that that can't happen. Up for the next round of primaries, <coughs> including I've not talked to any individual. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, you're supposed to cough into your elbow. I don't know, sir. No, I learned that actually covering your White House. That's, that you no, do I, actually, actually, that's true. But fortunately, I'm alone in my home. But that's okay.